Hello all. So in this video we will see how to edit CAN signal in CAN database. So first you have to open CAN CANOI, then go to simulation, then simulation setup, and from here top right corner uh, database. So if you haven't added database, so just right click on database and add your database. So I have already added database, so I am not going to add. So uh, just double click this uh, database. So it will open like this and there is one way other way you can edit it through first go to tools then can d can db plus plus editor and uh, select this uh, drop down list and select this database so your database will be open like this so uh, in, in i have downloaded this database from uh, internet you can also download it so for first uh, take any message uh, let's for example i am uh, taking blinken uh, message so just uh, double click this one so here in the definition signal transmitter receiver layout attributes comment so here all the uh, uh, option you will find so uh, if you want to edit this blinken message uh, so uh, in its name so you can change its name from here either blinken i am going to change blink blink then type can standard or can extended i hope everyone knows uh, what uh, difference between can standard and can definition mm, so can standard is it uses only 11 bit identifiers allowing for up to uh, to, uh, to the power 11 uh, such that uh, 2048 unique message identifiers and extended can uses 29 bit identifiers uh, so which is significantly large number of unique message identifiers up to over 500 million millions so uh, this is the difference between can extended and can uh, extended so id you can uh, give a change id also and dlc also cycle time yeah so uh, cycle time you can also change it uh, from here uh, here it is uh, default is at 40 so if you want to change it to 1000 millisecond or 200 millisecond that you can also change it then go to signal yes yeah, so here signal so this is the blinking blinken message inside this there are four different signals using that uh, for different signal you can perform your scenarios or uh, so here i am going to uh, if you want to change any signal just double click on this signal okay then uh, this signal so here you can change its name length factor its minimum max value maximum value uh, message receiver attributes value descriptions if you want or comment if you want to edit so i'm not going to change it you can try uh, on your uh, message and transmitter so here uh, cclk idc its start bit is 0 and length is 4 bit so you can also see this uh, in this layout option the starting bit is 0 0 to 4 here signal 0 to 4 then st idc start bit is 4 length is 3 st idc here you can see and similarly for remaining two you can see here layout st idc st idc stop and transmitter here frma so uh, you can also change this transmitter name and receivers also just whatever signal you want to change or edit just uh, double click on that signal that will be changed attributes here attributes means value uh, here you can see empty uh, power down its value is empty so if i want to set any value for power down let's say 0 1 or 0 2 uh, it, on 0 2 it will be up uh, it will be down so that your value you can set in power down value power up so uh, in attributes and comments whatever is specific comment you can mention here so that uh, you can also mention here so i'm not going to tell so using this way you can change your signal name their type id dlc cycle time